I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about using green lumber uh, right off the sawmill. And this is a floor that I put down on the back porch of my barn. Here you can kind of see the back porch of my barn. And um, when I cut this on the sawmill, uh, the reason I cut it was to do this floor. And I went looking for information to about using green lumber and what you needed to be kind of careful of and conscious of. And I couldn't really find a whole lot of information, so I just tried it. And uh, I, I cut it, and within a week, um, I nailed it down here on this floor. And I just wanted to kind of show you, because a lot of places will say, you know, you can put one nail in the center, you know, don't, don't nail the outsides, it'll split. And now these boards are about, uh, they're just straight off the mill. I didn't cut the sides, I didn't trim the sides at all, didn't trim the thickness, didn't plane them, nothing. Just right off the mill. And put them on here and they're about an inch thick uh, you know roughly so I just wanted to show you now these right here you can see the Sun hits them and so I put them down with one nail um, in the middle but then you know the next day I came out and, and when the Sun hit them they were starting to curl up so I thought well I better go ahead and nail them down whether they crack or not so I nailed these down the next day. I put three nails, you know, one in the center, one on each side. Now you can see like this one, it did a little cracking there, but not much. And this one didn't crack at all. This one didn't crack at all. But the rest of the floor where the sun didn't hit it directly, I just put one nail in it and it really has done exactly the same way. So, you know, and I may come back and put some nails in this, but I've been using it for, this has been out here about, oh, getting close to eight months now so it's good and dry um, you know and it's it's serving the purpose that I want now you can see that there are some gaps in between it part of that is from you know the boards were not perfectly straight when I put them down so when I tried to butt them up against each other you know some of them didn't butt exactly up up against each other but this is a really good example um, right here this would have been right up against each other and you can see I've got almost a quarter here maybe a little less than a quarter of an inch here gap so width wise of course they shrunk um, a, a little bit but as far as length goes so you can see the end of that board right there it's butted right up against the other one we'll track right on down and here's the end of that same board right there we got maybe an eighth of an inch down here so there's a little bit of shrinkage um, in the length not very much in the width but what I was really pleased with was I didn't have a whole lot of cupping I didn't have a whole lot of warping everything stayed really straight um, and stayed down you know the nails haven't popped up up and out of it because I haven't come back and nailed them back down and um, there's a few that are just a little bit proud of the surface but you know uh, that's probably from the board shrinking so you know you always expect boards to shrink more in width than in length anyway but um, anyway I've been real real happy with the way uh, this has turned out now when I put the, the installed the floor and you can see on this board see how there's kind of a rainbow there's an arch to that wood this isn't one of them this was a, a two by six that I just found laying here but I put it in this orientation down like that um, because usually your cupping is going to be more um, it's going to cup toward this way um, and so when I nailed it down here in the middle that was to kind of prevent some of that cupping whether that had a lot to do with it I don't know uh, but I did put every board down uh, pretty much in that orientation unless I forgot one or two so anyway just want to make this video to uh, show this to you hope it was helpful for some uh, like I said I, I couldn't find much information so I wanted to record uh, what little bit that I did learn Thank you for watching.